Are you flirting with me? Is that what you was doing? <laughs> Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, hi, my name is Shani. Thank you so much for clicking to watch this video. I do beauty, fashion, and lifestyle content here on my channel, and I'm also a makeup artist. I do a lot of stuff. So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I got this look right here, which didn't go as planned, but you guys will see that unfold in the video. So let's go ahead and get right in to it. To carve out my brows, I'm using Fenty Concealer in 210, and I'm mixing it with the Makeup Forever Concealer in 53 and I also filled it in with um, the Benefit. I filled in my brows with the Benefit Gel Color in 4.5. So I'm going to go ahead and do my brows, finish them off camera, take this call because it's Francis and um, we'll meet back, okay? <laughs> okay, so my brows are filled in, my eyes are primed. And I filled in my brows with the Cabell Benefit Brow Gel in 4.5. Y'all know I've been loving this. And then I also carved out my brows with, I think I already showed you guys that, 410 in the Fenty Concealer. And I put 53 in the Makeup Forever Concealer on my eyelids because I like how it turned out in my burnt orange cat eye makeup tutorial. I like the fact that I didn't have to set this makeup forever concealer and the eyeshadow still looked really really good so that's what i did today so i'm just gonna leave it like that i'm not gonna set it with a powder and i'm just gonna go ahead and get into this eye look i'm using the jackie Ina palette from anastasia this is a super pretty palette and yeah we're doing something purple today i think this is going to be my first holiday makeup look well timeless holiday makeup look because you can wear this any time of the year or at any occasion but it's the holiday time and i wanted to give you guys some color today i'm changing it up just a little bit i'm taking edges and i'm just gonna put that in my crease i was going to originally finish off doing some more fall looks but I want to pre-film this video for December 1st. So hopefully this goes up on December 1st. But in my burnt orange cat eye makeup tutorial, I got a comment saying that um, a lot of YouTubers are like straying away from using color on their lips and stuff like that. Actually, let me just put the comment and read it. So... I think she was just like a little frustrated with the fact that people aren't doing a lot of color on their lips and personally I just don't do a lot of color on my lips I just don't that's not what I naturally gravitate to and I like to keep it natural I like to produce looks and do looks that I would most likely wear and I don't ever really wear any color on my lips and I get the frustration because you know you guys come to makeup tutorial to pull inspiration from someone that may look like you so when you see somebody that looks like you and they're just not wearing any color on their lips it's, i get the frustration yes i'm a content creator yes i'm here to give you guys content but i also want to give you guys content that i would actually wear you know not just produce a bunch of content that i don't like when i go out i like to do looks that enhance and aren't too much i don't want to look like i have on a lot of makeup not that there's anything wrong with that i'm using the color credit to deepen my crease this one right here not that there's anything wrong with looking like you have a lot of makeup on i just don't want to look like that i don't want the first thing somebody says like oh wow that she has a lot of makeup on i would rather somebody be like oh wow she looks very nice you know there's a difference. I want people to be guessing. Like, do she have makeup on? Is she a makeup artist? You know? <laughs> your approach to makeup is your approach to makeup. You know what I'm saying? Just do what makes you feel the most beautiful. If you want to experiment, there's ways to do it. Um, there's ways I would do it personally. I'm just not going to do a whole bunch of color and it looks crazy. Or I walk around looking like a clown. That's not what I want to do. If my eyes are natural, I'll feel comfortable with doing something bold on my lips. 
if my lips are natural I'll do something bold on the eyes I just have to pick one to balance each other out I don't want it to look like bam 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 like it's fighting with each other I want it to complement and be subtle and pretty and natural and glamorous anyways that's all I have to say about that okay now I'm taking shocking tin this purple color in the palette and that's going to go on my mobile eyelid but this is such a pretty color listen Jackie Jackie did her thing with this palette. It's so pretty. <gasps> wow. I'm over here thinking about what top I'm going to wear. Now I'm just lining my eyelids with the LA Girl Shockwave Liner in Blackout. And I'm trying to figure out if I'm going to take this all over my eyelid. Because I do want to wing it out. And it's kind of hard to do my liner with one hand. I really need to find a small desk to put in front of me because this is not it. I did my eyeshadow wing liner off camera because I don't know what it is but I never can really do my eyeliner on camera. For lashes I'm using Mooney, well love Mooney. These lashes, that's how they look, super pretty. And they're in the style, are you flirting? That's a cute name. <laughs> are you flirting with me? Is that what you're doing? <laughs> Y'all know how I feel about a good hair lashes. Okay. It just makes the whole entire look. And the more I do my makeup, the more I want to put on a neutral lip. I just feel like neutral lips complement every makeup look so well. Oh yeah, these are it. These lashes are it and I haven't even put them on all the way yet but I always put them on first to measure it to see if it's going to be too long for my eye and then I trim accordingly from the outer corner I feel like it's poking me a little bit so I'm going to trim off just a slither of the lash and I couldn't find my actual lash scissors so I'm using these very old hair scissors. I think I got this from Walmart or something like that, but these scissors are way too bulky. Alright, so I'm just going to cut off one little notch. And now I'm just putting on some duo glue. take the elf poreless putty primer to prime my face I just like to take it in this area right here fill my pores and then spread it out onto the rest of my face all right so I'm gonna color correct with the makeup forever concealer in 53 and then I'm just gonna blend it out with this morphe e8 brush if I'm not mistaken is that a whitehead okay the way this stuff looks on camera is great the way it looks in person behind these lights is throwing me off just a tad and I'm just gonna keep blending this into my skin until I feel like everything is one all right for foundation I'm taking the makeup forever foundation in Y545 this right here, this has been my current favorite so far since I reviewed it. I put it on the back of my hand. Um, so I usually like to focus the foundation in areas where I feel like I need it, but still put it all over if that makes sense. But I really like this foundation because it's so, so skin-like. If you guys are interested in a review and my thoughts about the foundation, I will link my review in the cards or in my description box. To highlight my under eyes, I'm taking the Fenty Concealer in 410 and I just focus it more so in this area because I've already because I've already color corrected. So now I'm just highlighting. And then once I have my concealer on in the places that I like to highlight, 
I'm just gonna take this duo fiber brush and start to blend out. Actually, I do this area first. <laughs> I usually like to let the concealer up under the eye stay there for a little bit. And I'm just gonna press this concealer into my skin. So y'all know how I said I was gonna do a red lip at the beginning of this video? Um, <laughs> I do not know where my lip liner is. And when it comes to a red lip, there is no making changes when it's on. So I'm gonna go with the nude lip. <laughs> I'm gonna go with the nude lip because I'm not about to just put a red lipstick on my lips, no lip liner that's just not me yeah i do not know where my lip liner is i haven't really done my makeup a lot since moving in here so who knows where it could be for blush i'm taking blush please from mac this is what it looks like and i'm just gonna press that onto my cheeks where's my other one where's rosie does it clearly i was not prepared for this video because i cannot find <laughs> nothing i'm looking for it looks like a greasy mess right now but hold on everything is going to come together i'm going to contour with the good apple foundation in deep 98 looks like that All right, once everything is blending out, I'm gonna take this setting powder. It's upside down. Still upside down. <laughs> this setting powder and set my under eyes is a translucent setting powder. It doesn't flash back or anything like that. And I've been loving it lately, so I'm gonna blend out one more time. And go in and set. Okay, now I'm just going in and setting the rest of my face with the Too Faced powder in Cocoa. And then I'm gonna go in and set my contour with Ganache from Too Faced. I'm gonna use the tip of this brush, this is the 190 bronzer brush from Fenty and I'm just using the tip of it to set my nose contour bronzer and then I'm also going up into my brow and bringing it down. Okay, I'm going back into this Jackiana palette and I'm taking Edges which is the orange color or burnt orange color and i'm going to start off by stamping it and then i'll blend it out i'm stamping it because i don't want a lot of fallout on my face and then i'm taking edges and i'm going to continue to smoke it out and then i'm taking my flat definer brush with that black eyeshadow that I used to do my wing. And I'm going to bring it down a little bit and smoke it out. Now I'm just gonna put on a little bit of mascara and this brush being this big is scaring me. Okay, that's all I'm doing. And I was using this Laura Mercier mascara. I don't know if you guys can see the name, but it's from Laura Mercier. I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to highlight my inner corners with. I'm 
by the time I get to my lips, I just be ready to be done, okay? This is cute. I'm taking tiramisu from NYX and I'm gonna mix it with Supernatural from Revlon. Do I like it, it's a question. Oh, here's the blush I was looking for. Rezzy does it from MAC. This is the one I was looking for. Let's go ahead and put a little bit of it on. Just add a little bit more color to the face. I like putting this on before I set my face because when I do set my face, it just makes everything look more subtle and it sets it down because this is a very creamy and glowy looking blush that I feel like I need to set it with something sometimes. I don't know if you guys can tell, but now it looks like there's a gloss on my face, which I do not mind. I like this blush for that particular reason, which is why I like to set it a little bit because I know it's going to start to look like this. So yeah, I like it. Try to powder it a little bit. Okay, there we go. All right, I'm gonna add a little bit more of this highlight to my inner corner. I think I like how that looks. And then I'm gonna add a little bit to my brow bone because I feel like I wanna highlight it a little bit. I don't know if I was recording that whole time, but I set my face with the Professionals Setting Spray from Benefit. I really thought I was going to be doing a red lip with this look, but it just, it just wasn't in the cards today. I cannot find my lip liner and I'm really kind of upset because lip liner, why are you trying to play me in front of all my girls? And now y'all probably gonna be a little disappointed because y'all wanted to see the red. But the ones that I was going to try and put on is this color from the lip bar and then what's this? Cherry Blossom from Colored Rain. They're both really pretty. All right, you guys, so this is the finished look. I didn't feel like changing because the outfit that I was about to put on would go good with the look that I was going to do. All right, so once I was pretty much done filming this video, I was like, let me just go ahead and see what it looks like with the brown lip liner that I already had on. So I did that. I went in with the Lip Bar Liquid Lipstick and Boss Lady. I also highlighted the center of my lip with the Liquid Lipstick from Sigma and Suede. And I also used my all-time favorite Liquid Lipstick from Colored Rain. So I will link the red lip combination down below. And I will also list the nude glossy lip combination that you guys see on my lips. Um in my description box as well so if you're interested in the two lip combinations definitely check out the description box i really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys have any more requests of videos you want me to do please leave them down below i really hope you guys enjoyed this video i love y'all i hope you guys are enjoying your holidays and i will see you guys in my next video which i will be placing on the screen so if you haven't already seen this video check it out and make sure you're subscribed and i will see you guys in my next video.